Hey Michael with X-Force PC. We're going to talk about setting up the real Sim Gear GNS 530 when you have a single display with this uh, GNS 530. Now one thing to keep in mind is this is a monitor. When you hook this up, the computer sees it as a monitor. So it will need a monitor connection. Um, most graphics cards, will, uh, modern graphics cards will support up to four. You, um, so you have to keep that in mind if you're uh, hooking this up. Is this going to eat up one of your monitor connections? Now, as far as setting this up, um, most video cards only have one HDMI port. This uses HDMI. So if, um, if that's an issue for you, you may need to buy a display port to HDMI cable. Again, that's a display port to HDMI cable. I have one of those here. Um, obviously, you see it has HDMI on one end. Hopefully, you can see that and it's not too out of focus. And then DisplayPort on the other end. And DisplayPort looks pretty similar to um, HDMI. But those are cost like, you know, 10 bucks online. We'll also offer that on the product page if you want to buy them. Maybe they're like, actually, they're more like 15 bucks. So that's probably what we'll sell them for. Um, and so we'll offer that as an option on the product page to purchase one because again, this uses HDMI and if your monitor uses HDMI, well, one of them is going to need to be converted. So the first step, obviously, is to plug it into the computer and you plug it in uh, to power and you also plug it in with the USB port. So HDMI goes to the graphics card, the USB obviously goes to a USB port and then you have to plug it into power. And then when you boot up your computer, you should get this. You should get, obviously, your Windows desktop up here. And then you also get another Windows desktop on this display. And so we'll talk about what to do with that next. Now, what you may or may not be able to see on this uh, GNS 530 is this is actually flipped upside down. I'm not exactly sure why they do it, but there's some reason why they're all upside down. Um, so we have to fix that and we also have to arrange the displays. So I'm going to right click on the desktop and go to display settings. And you can see here is a graphical representation of our two monitors. We had number, number one here is the real wide one I've got up here and number two is the one down here. Uh, if you're not sure which is which, you can hit the identify button and it'll put a number down in the corner of each screen. You just click identify and it will put a number down there in the corner. Um, so well, the first thing we want to make sure of is that our display that's going to show X-Plane is our main display. And that's right down here. Make this my main display. And it is already. You just click on it so that it's highlighted and make sure this says make this my main display. That means the start menu will be on it and when you open programs they'll tend to open on the main display. The other thing we need to do is click on monitor number two, in this case, it's monitor number two, and that's this one. And we need to scroll down here and change the orientation to landscape flipped. And you'll notice this one turns upside down, which is right side up, and we say keep changes. And you may or may not be able to see, but there's a taskbar now down at the bottom of this screen instead of up at the top and I probably have to zoom out a little bit. So our, our taskbar is now down at the bottom, so we've flipped it. The other thing we need to do is arrange it. And by the way, these directions are, are also on the Real Sim Gear website. So if you prefer to not watch me set it up in a video, you can follow the directions on the Real Sim Gear website. But you can see where our, our GPS is located, and so I'm gonna drag this here which represents the approximate sort of arrangement we've got here, and I'm going to hit apply. Why I do that is so that when I drag my mouse down like this, it'll show up on this display down here. And you may or may not be able to see, but there's a little mouse pointer moving around down here. It's really small. And that just helps when you go to drag the G530 down there to that display. So now we've got our display set up. Let's recap. Our, our main display that we're going to show X-Plane on is set up as our main display in Display Properties. 
we have set this screen, which is our GPS, to landscape flipped so that it will be right side up instead of upside down. And what else do we do? Oh, we moved this, physically dragged it so that it is oriented here like it is in the 3D space of our world. And so next we'll talk about other things we need to do. Okay, some of the remaining steps we have to do are to install the plug-in for the real sim gear in X-Plane. Um, there's a little uh, bit of artwork we have to download, which might sound complicated, but it's really not. And I think that's it. Anyway, what you need to do is go to realsimgear.com and sort of follow along here. Um, I'll move this over a bit. And then you go to Setup, click on Setup, and then you go to Setup Guides, and we're going to go to the GNS 530 Setup Guide, and I'm going to click on X-Plane 11, and here's Download Plugin for X-Plane 11, so I'm just going to download that, and it's going to, I'm going to go over here to my Downloads folder, and I'm going to extract here using um, 7-Zip. And you see it creates a folder called Real Sim Gear. And inside of that, you'll see there's three folders and two files. And you just need to take that Real Sim Gear folder, copy and paste it into your X Plane Resources Plugins folder. And I know I went kind of fast there, but you can always uh, go to the Real Sim Gear website and you know, read this over and over and over again if you want to. But that's as simple as it is plugging in, uh, doing the plug-in for um, the real Sim Gear device. Um, the other thing we need to do is download some artwork. So normally when you pull up the Garmin 530 in X-Plane, um, around the perimeter of that, it's got all the buttons, the buttons which we have here, physical buttons, right? all these physical buttons, we don't want those showing up on the screen. So what we're going to do, and here's an example, this is the, this is the G1000, but see this is the artwork and it has all these, these buttons. We don't want those buttons showing up. So what you do is um, go back here to the guide and go down to where it says remove the bezel graphics and you download this file. So you, see, you right click and choose save link as and then you browse to your X-Plane 11 Resources Bitmaps Cockpit EFIS and then you want to go to the, uh, let's see, what is it, GPS FMS folder. I'm sorry, I'm botching this a bit. It's X-Plane Resources Bitmaps Cockpit Radios and then GPS FMS. So I'm going to go down here to radios, GPS FMS, and I'm going to save it. And it's actually going to overwrite the file. You might want to make a copy of the file before you overwrite it. That's up to you. But I'm going to say, yeah, that I want to replace it. And if we take a look at this file, look at it. it it's just a plain nothingness. It's just transparency is all it is. That way, when we open the G430, uh, we don't get all that artwork around the edges. So uh, next we'll take a look at um, getting this thing going in X-Plane. Okay, so now we're up in X-Plane and we need to get the 430 down, or excuse me, the 530 down here on the right screen. And you remember I talked about the artwork earlier. If I click on the, the Garmin 430 over here in the instrument panel, you see it pops up here. And this is the artwork I'm talking about, the buttons and all around the edges. We don't want that. So when I click on the 530, you can see all we have is raw data. We don't have all the buttons around the edges, and that's what we want. Now, you can't drag this off the screen as is, but in the upper right-hand corner, if you put your mouse up there, you'll see two little uh, boxes appear. See that right there? You click on that and it puts it into a window that can be dragged. I'm going to resize it just a little bit. It seems kind of big. Uh, and I'll drag it down here. 
I just dragged it off the screen and because I have my screen arranged correctly, I'm able to drag it, see, drag it right off the screen onto down here and then I maximize it. And now we have our Garmin 530 down here and I can twiddle these knobs and things happen and I don't pretend to know, you know, what I'm doing here. I'm just hitting buttons. Um, but the frequencies change and all that. And now we have it all set up and the next time we start up X-Plane, it will remember, as long as we've shut down gracefully, you know, we file and quit on X-Plane, next time we start up, it will remember the position and your Garmin uh, 530 will be down right there where it belongs. And that's how you set up the GNS 530 from Real Sim Gear on a one display system. And technically this is the second display.